Hey there YouTube, Alana here from teachtraffic.com and in today's video I'm going to show you just how easy it is to create a YouTube ad campaign using Google Ads. But before we get stuck in today's video, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button for notifications. And if you like this video, you can just hit the like button and also comment on this video. All right, so let's not waste any time. Let's get stuck in today's video. So in order to create our YouTube ad campaign, we're going to need to create a video campaign inside Google Ads. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to hit this plus button here and we're going to create a new campaign. Now, the first thing Google is going to try and do, it's going to try and ask us, do we want to optimize for sales or leads? I'm going to suggest starting out if this is your first video campaign and you're sort of new to sort of getting conversions uh, in your account. I'm going to suggest that you create a campaign without a goals guidance. And this is because you want to run manual cost per view bidding. If you choose sales or leads, Google is going to uh, force you to do their smart bidding or their automated bidding and starting out. I definitely don't, re don't recommend you do that. Okay, so choose create a, uh, without uh, goal guidance and then you will have the option uh, to do manual CPV, which is what you want, which is cost per view. Okay, so we choose that and then obviously we choose a video campaign. Now there's a few different types of video ad campaigns that you can do. Uh, the first is an in-stream ad, which are the video ads that show up before a video you're about to watch. Definitely recommend if you're starting out, you do that type of uh, ad. Uh, the second type of ad is a discovery ad, which is um, like an ad that shows up in the search results. I'm gonna say, um, suggest that you don't do that starting out. And the third type of ad is a bumper ad, which is a six second ad, which is non-skippable. And also I suggest you don't do that, all right? So um, I'm gonna, uh, yeah, so I recommend you doing this custom video campaign. Uh, you can actually, you see down the bottom here, it says shopping. So you can actually incorporate your Google shopping products to be below your uh, video ad, but that does involve setting up, you know, the Google Merchant Center and all that kind of stuff. So starting out, let's just choose this one and we're going to click continue. Now we have to give our campaign a name, obviously. I am a bit finicky about naming conventions. I'd like to start if I'm doing a YouTube ad campaign with YT so I can just very clearly see from the naming convention what type of campaign it is. So I do YouTube and then I usually say what kind of targeting I am doing. So let's pretend I'm doing a keyword targeting campaign. So I'll call it YT-keyword and obviously you come up with your own naming convention. The bid strategy here, you can see I've got maximum CPV, which is because of what I said before in choosing that campaign with, uh, without a goal guidance. And we have an option to do target CPM, but I also wouldn't recommend doing that. So we're gonna leave that as default. I'm gonna scroll down a little bit more and I have to assign my budget. So I can assign a total campaign budget. So that's uh, to be spent over the lifetime of that campaign or you can choose a daily budget. So I like to do a daily budget. Let's say we're gonna give it $10 per day. And I personally don't choose an end date because I wanna have control as to when I want this campaign to end. If you're not gonna be monitoring your campaigns that closely, then maybe choose an end date just so that it doesn't kind of keep running and, and the costs keep racking up, okay? So the next one we're gonna look at is networks here. Now this is a little sneaky setting here. Google have default, uh, defaulted to select the search results and also the display network. Uh, there are a bunch of these, what I call little Google gotchas <laughs> that are embedded in lots of different places in their entire Google ad system, be it if you're doing search, display or YouTube. I actually have a whole guide uh, free guide on this called the Google Ad Gotcha Guide. Uh, you can definitely check it out and download it for free if you go to teachtraffic.com slash gotcha, so G-O-T-C-H-A, and uh, it just sort of alerts you to all these little sneaky settings that you need to change that um, are really designed to make Google more money and you to spend more money for little cost, right? Well, for little gain, rather. So we're going to deselect this and we're going to deselect this and we only want to run our ads uh, before YouTube videos because we're doing the in-stream, okay? So choose that one. 
here is where we would choose uh, the location. So mine is defaulted to be in Australia, but if I wanted to, let's say, target a different country, maybe uh, United States, I can just do this and I can hit target and then it's default, not default, it's targeting the United States. Now you might not want to target an entire country. Maybe you think, well, I just want to test this. I want to dip my toe in the water and possibly test one region. So you can, if I close that, you can, let's say, type in uh, Los Angeles and target a specific region. Or you can even go even more granular. And if you click on advanced search, you can do uh, what's called radius targeting. So if I typed in uh, maybe Beverly Hills, <laughs> 20 mile radius, I can do that. And I'm going to, can, uh, yeah, so I can, well, this is Beverly Hills, New South Wales. <laughs> so let's just do uh, Beverly Hills, Beverly Hills, California. Beverly Hills, God, I misspelled it. There you go. So we can do a radius targeting that way. It's just giving you examples. I'm going to close out of this and uh, I'm going to cancel that and I'm just going to choose Australia but obviously you would put in your own location targeting okay language I'm going to leave that as is uh, inventory type I'm going to leave it as standard inventory that's fine I don't want to do expanded and I don't want to do uh, limited but I do down here want to exclude some of these sensitive areas okay let's have a look at some about uh, additional settings uh, it's going to default to sort of tie to a, the account level conversion setting. But if you've got more than one type of conversion tracking set up in your account, then you can uh, attach this campaign to a specific conversion event. In this particular account, I've only got one type of conversion tracking set up, so I don't have that option here. But that, if you've got more than one, that should be there for you. Okay, devices. I am going to hit this one because I want to deselect TV screens. I don't want my video ad to show up on TV screens because it's going to be hard for them to click, right? So I like to turn that off. I'm not going to frequency cap, which will prevent my ad from showing to the same person more than a certain number of times. And I'm not going to put an ad schedule. Okay. So that's my, they're my campaign settings. Next, I've got to set up my ad group. Okay. So here is where I'm also pretty um, finicky about my naming conventions. So I would um, put in kind of the theme of the keywords that I'm going for, because my goal is I'm going to have one campaign, I'm going to have multiple ad groups targeting different themes of keywords. All right. So this particular campaign is sort of targeting people who are interested in buying beeswax food wraps. So I'm going to just call it beeswax food wraps, just because so it's clear to me when I come back into my account, let's say in a week's time, I can see how this particular type of keywords are going. So I call my ad group that name. Uh, because this is a product for the kitchen, I'm going to be really stereotypical. I'm going to deselect mail, but you might find that uh, you might run it for all uh, genders and age groups. It doesn't really matter so much. And I'm not going to choose an audience because I'm not doing any of the... Um, in market audiences or retargeting or affinity audiences which are illustrated here alrighty uh, if you're unsure about uh, what these are uh, obviously I've got a full course on this in teachtraffic.com uh, or you can probably check out some of my other YouTube videos talking about some of this other targeting but don't do that because I'm at this particular targeting I want to do keyword targeting and here is where I would put in my keywords so I'm going to type in uh, beeswax food wraps uh, beeswax wraps and I'll just leave it as that and I'm not going to do any topics and I'm not going to do any placements and my maximum cost per view bid is let's say oh, 10 cents okay so I'm targeting these keywords I'm bidding this and next is I'm going to have to uh, create my ad. All right. So in order to launch your uh, video ad, you're going to need to have the ad or the video to be loaded up to your YouTube channel. All right. You can't do it without that. So I've already done that. So uh, we're going to need to put in my the URL of my video ad. So I'm going to go to my YouTube channel here, which is me. And I'm going to grab this URL 
and I'm going to put my URL here. And here is my video ad. Okay, I'm going to choose a skippable in-stream ad. And I'm almost there. So here is where I put in my final URL, which is where I'm sending people to if they click on my ad. Okay, so that's your landing page. So here I'm running a special offer. I'm going to grab this URL and I put this in here. Now my display URL does not have to be a real URL. I can pretty much just put keywords here if I want, but I'm quite happy with it being a special offer. And but yeah, you can make up whatever URL you want. Okay, the important one is this one, which is a final URL. I'm going to include a call to action. Definitely want this because this is called True View for Action. And let me tell you, you definitely want this. And this is where we have the ability to add in a call to action uh, button or text. So I'm going to say um, free offer. Obviously, I've only got 10 characters to do this. And I've got a, a headline here. Oh, I can just type in beeswax, uh, beeswax wraps because I don't have much text. Okay, and as you can see displayed here, here's my headline and here's my call to action button. I can even change this to what it looks like on a desktop. And obviously, um, yeah, here is the call to action button. And YouTube also have what's called the companion banner on the right here. So we can get YouTube or Google rather to automatically generate uh, my channel banner here on the right, or we can upload an image, which is, I think it's 300 by 60 pixels. Uh, yeah, there you go, 300 by 60 pixels is the dimensions. But for now, I'm just gonna do this and I'm gonna call it um, add one or you know whatever you want. And then I'm gonna hit create campaign. And there we've created our campaign. I go through to my campaign and as I can see here, here is my new YouTube ad campaign. I've got one ad group here. One thing I do want to do is I want to exclude my ad from showing up on lots of kids YouTube channels. All right. So um, that's what I want to do as soon as I launch. So I'm going to go to placements. I'm going to go to exclusions. And I want to add uh, a placement exclusion list and I've got a default placement list here uh, which you can um, download at this URL uh, on the screen and if you want it contains like over 2,000 kids YouTube channels that you want to exclude from your campaigns because otherwise your ad's going to show up on lots of junk placements which you don't want and then I'm going to hit save now it's going to probably take about 24 hours for your ad to be approved but not much you can do here so if I just show you here if we go into it this is going to show my ad and you can see it's under review here and then uh, as soon as it's been reviewed uh, then it will say active or if it, Google doesn't like it it will say disapproved alrighty so hope you enjoy this video be sure to hit subscribe to uh, this channel uh, and hit the bell button so you get notified for new videos and thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next videos